Hello guys, so I'm back here with a new quick tip tutorial. This time it will be a short one, it will be just a little modeling tip where instead of creating a or using a complex way to create like square tubing, there's a really easy way with a torus, um, a poly torus to create a simple and easy um, square tubing if you need it for industrial designs or architectural stuff. It's very convenient and very easy to apply. So the um, old-fashioned way would be probably to create a cube and extrude in one way like this and then remove these faces and bridge them here again to get a quick um, square tubing. But in this quick tip I will show you to create it with a torus. So you would go to create polygons torus and then the trick is just in the channel box where you adjust some parameters like the subdivision because it's square tubing you have four sides you change the subdivs to four and add a twist of 45 degrees so it's now you got a, a square tubing already and you have to rotate the y-axis to 45 to get a nice square tubing and then it's pretty easy the radius works perfectly you can scale you can even change the radius of your mesh and it's very easy to apply it so you could also go into the edge loops of it and and uh, two loops and then bevel it, add some segments, change the offset, and then you get a pretty nice square tube, which is also where you can also still adjust the radius and the rest of all the parameters. And what I did for for my modeling shelf, I went into the create polygon section and if you hold control and shift and click on tours you see you get a new shelf button here and if you right click it and edit you can change the subdivision on the channel box parameters before you even create it so you could change the twist modifier to 45 and the subdivisions you to uh, change both to 4 and then you create a set attribute torus and rotate the y-axis. I did it before so I have it set it still on my clipboard, but that's just it. You can close it and if you press now on your button, you have a finished uh, square tubing. You can scale it and it's just the same. It's just a quick and easy way to create a tubing if it's in the need. You can then afterwards change the ratio and the size of it. I hope you can make use of this quick tip and in future stay tuned to my channel. I will post every week a new tutorial and if you have any tutorial ideas or if you want to know something just um, post it on in the comment list on any video on my website and I'll be helpful and try to help you with your uh, workflows. Thank you guys. See you next week. Bye.